Have a Fire TV or Fire TV stick you are not getting much use out of it. Now's the time to dust them off and turn them into a cheap compact flex device. The Fire TV and Fire TV stick have long seemed like a powerful tool in want of something to do. The Fire TV and Fire TV stick have pretty decent hardware, but it is far too difficult to get local videos files on your Fire TV without restoring to using an Android developer kit and some tricks to install third party apps like Kodi Media Center. Rather than jump through those hoops, however, you can now tap into your local media using Plex Media Server. And if you are already using Plex, you shall benefit from the great unified Plex experience that you get on all your other devices including your computer, mobile devices and everywhere else Plex is supported. To follow along today's tutorial, you only need a few things. First and foremost, you need to already be running Plex Media Server with your media setup and ready to go. If you are new to the Plex game, then you have to check some tutorial on setting up the Plex Media Server for the first time, as well as something on how to keep your Plex Media Library up to date. Along with a ready to go Plex Media Server, you also will need a Fire TV or Fire TV TV stick. It doesn't matter which generation of the product you use. We have used Plex successfully on even the first generation stick. But if you have both on hand, the extra processing power makes the Fire TV a better choice. How to install the Plex client on your Fire TV? To get started with Plex on your Fire TV, simply fire up your device and select the search menu at the top of the left hand navigation bar. Search for Plex and select it. Within the app menu, click download. After the app is downloaded and installed, click open to launch it and begin the login and configuration process. The first step is to configure the overscan setting, which you do via the arrows keys on your Fire Remote. Adjust the display so that the arrows are all visible and the click accept. Once you calibrate your screen, you shall be prompted to log in. Select the sign in. An on screen pin will be displayed. Enter it at plex.tv slash link to link your Plex client to your account. Once linked, you shall immediately be kicked into the main Plex interface as seen on the screen. Here you can browse your libraries as you are seeing kids movies, kids shows, movies and TV shows. But your library names may vary as well as browse your channels feature before you are missing out. And now you are gonna again read something on how to install and watch streaming channels. Troubleshooting playback. Under ideal conditions, you won't run into any issues. And if you can just start watching, on the off chance you are having issues. However, there are a few things you can do to troubleshoot. First and foremost, before we start pinning the blame on Plex, let's rule out a bad connection, bad connection in general. Before you start tinkering with the Plex settings, you should try to play other streaming video contents like some free contents from Amazon Instant Video to ensure that it is not a Wi-Fi or internet issue. If that video plays without any stutters or weird behavior, then it is time to proceed. The default settings on the Fire TV Plex client are the ideal ones and you should only modify them if you are having issues. To access the settings, select your username on the main Plex screen and click it. Select settings in the drop down menu. Within the setting menu, navigate to the video section. There are a few tweaks here we can make that can help either resolve or at least isolate issues you are having. If you are having general playback issues where it seems like nothing plays without stuttering, Change the local quality to a lower setting. By default, it plays in the original resolution of the video, but you can dial it down to, say for example, 720 pixels and you should see improvement note that typically most users will only need to dial down the quality for the Fire TV stick and not the Fire TV. Another trick you can try which is helpful in running out whether or not the format of the media server file is the culprit is to disable allow direct play and allow direct stream to see if that makes a difference. Both of these settings are under normal conditions. Highly beneficial as they allow for the files to play directly on your device without any CPU heavy transcoding on the server side. If unchecking them allows your content to play without a problem, then perhaps that is the feasible solution. 
If the extra transcoding burden is too much for your server, you may wish to pre-optimize your media for smoother playback so your server doesn't have to do the heavy transcoding on the fly.